Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some alarming news that's sending shivers down our spines. Brace yourselves because the polar vortex has just collapsed, and the consequences are chilling. Stick around to find out what's happening and why you might need an extra layer of warmth this winter. What's up, YouTube? I hope you're ready for a deep dive into the recent collapse of the polar vortex. If you're wondering what that even means and why it matters, you're in the right place. But before we unravel the mysteries of this meteorological phenomenon, make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's jump into the icy details. So, what exactly is the polar vortex, and why has it decided to throw a winter party in the northern hemisphere? The polar vortex is like a giant icy swirl of super cold air, a colossal winter storm waiting to shake things up. But, until now, the polar jet stream has been playing gatekeeper, holding it back. Trouble is, the jet stream has been weakening, and now, the alarm bells are ringing. The polar vortex, observed above both poles, is a swirling mass of extremely cold air. Since August, it's been gaining strength, setting the stage for potential disruptions in winter weather patterns. The key player in keeping it in check is the polar jet stream, a high-altitude air current acting like a barrier. When the jet stream weakens, it might fail to contain the polar vortex, leading to a collapse and a surge of freezing air across the northern hemisphere. This isn't unprecedented. Polar vortex collapses happen every few years, with varying intensities and consequences. Now, let's delve deeper into the intricate ballet of natural forces influencing the potential collapse of the polar vortex. It's a mesmerizing dance choreographed by the Earth's rotation, the Coriolis effect, and the temperature disparities between the equator and the poles. Imagine these factors as the lead dancers on a celestial stage, orchestrating a delicate balance that dictates the fate of our winter weather. First in this celestial ballet is the Earth's rotation, a fundamental force shaping atmospheric dynamics. As our planet spins on its axis, it bestows upon the polar vortex a counterclockwise rotation around the North Pole and a clockwise rotation around the South Pole. This rotation, driven by the Coriolis effect, is the apparent deflection of moving objects caused by the Earth's rotation. It's like a cosmic waltz, guiding the polar vortex in its elegant dance above the polar regions. Now, enter the Coriolis effect, the maestro of this atmospheric symphony. In the northern hemisphere, objects tend to be deflected to the right, and in the southern hemisphere, the deflection is to the left. This seemingly subtle force has profound implications for the polar vortex's behavior, causing it to rotate counterclockwise above the North Pole and clockwise around the South Pole. But this dance of forces doesn't end there, it's a dynamic interplay with temperature differences playing a crucial role. The temperature gradient between the equator and the poles creates a high pressure area above the cold poles and a low pressure area above the warm equator. This sets the stage for a celestial tug of war, with the polar vortex caught in the middle. Enter the polar jet stream, our celestial barrier. This high altitude, fast flowing air current acts as the guardian of the polar vortex, preventing its cold air from spreading too far southward. It's like a cosmic shield, maintaining the delicate balance of our atmospheric dance. Now, picture this delicate equilibrium disrupted. If the polar jet stream weakens, it's akin to lowering the cosmic shield. The frigid air from the polar vortex gains momentum and starts its journey southward, disrupting the normal rhythm of weather patterns. It's a shift that could lead to a collapse of the polar vortex, unleashing a cascade of consequences across the northern hemisphere. So, as we witness the grand performance of Earth's natural forces, it's essential to recognize the fragile choreography that sustains our atmospheric balance. The potential weakening of the polar jet stream serves as a reminder of how interconnected and delicate our planet's climate dance truly is. Will the cosmic forces harmonize, or are we in for a turbulent atmospheric show? Only time will tell. Now, let's talk about a major player in this atmospheric drama, El Nino. El Nino is no stranger to climate enthusiasts. It's a climate phenomenon that shakes things up in the Pacific Ocean. During El Nino, Warmer than average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern equatorial Pacific Ocean create a ripple effect across the globe. Picture this, the abnormal warming in the Pacific Ocean during strong El Nino events isn't just a beach vacation for marine life. It's a trigger for something much more impactful, sudden stratospheric warming. This phenomenon occurs when the stratosphere, especially above the polar regions, experiences a rapid increase in temperatures. Now, you might wonder, what does this have to do with the polar vortex? Well, it turns out that this sudden stratospheric warming can throw a wrench into the polar vortex's routine. It disrupts the normal circulation patterns of the polar vortex, 
potentially causing it to weaken and, in some cases, collapse entirely. And here's the twist in our weather tale, we're currently right in the midst of an El Nino phase. Yes, you heard it right. The Pacific Ocean is heating up, and this El Nino is gaining strength. The ongoing El Nino phase is expected to peak between January and February of 2024, precisely when the polar vortex is already on thin ice. So, as we navigate through the complexities of atmospheric interactions, the presence of El Nino adds an extra layer of uncertainty. Its influence on sudden stratospheric warming could be a game-changer, making the situation even more precarious. Buckle up, folks. The atmospheric roller coaster just got a lot twistier. So, what does all this mean for us? As we face the potential collapse of the polar vortex, the timing couldn't be worse for the Western world already grappling with an energy crisis. From Europe to the United States, record low temperatures could bring severe consequences. It's not just about heating bills, it's about the strain on infrastructure, transportation, and daily life. As we navigate these uncertain times, being prepared is key. Proactive measures, infrastructure improvements, and public awareness are crucial in minimizing the impact on affected regions. And while the consequences may be severe, they're often short-lived. Remember, understanding the transient nature of these events allows for a perspective that focuses on recovery and resilience. Communities have a remarkable capacity to bounce back and implement measures to enhance preparedness for future events. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this information valuable, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the mind-blowing video on your screen right now, you won't want to miss it. Thanks for tuning in, stay warm, and until next time.